Look at Edith. She's like, oh my. I really enjoyed that. <laughs> Hey, it's Thousie, your friendly neighborhood internet fox, and welcome back to another episode of The Sims 4 Seasons. Miss Edith over here is currently making herself some oatmeal. It is the morning, it's 7 a.m. And I think after that, we are going to go ahead and, oh, it's a Saturday. So we're gonna go and grab the little one. Oh dear, what have you done? You done a poopy in your nappy? Okay, we're gonna have to go and uh, clean that up as well because that, that's a little gross. And then afterwards, I think what we're gonna do is take Scrawl on a little bit of a walk. You know what, we should, we should call someone over because I feel like today is a it's the last day of summer actually so let's let's look at that whoa it's almost autumn isn't that totally crazy whoa what's this what's this question mark oh mysterious weather okay since it's the last day of summer and Edith kind of wanted to do something with Addy gonna maybe leave squirrel at home and grab someone to sort of puppy nap her maybe Layla would be interested in something like that do you think Layla would want to I think she would she has a dog so we're gonna go ahead and send her a text and uh, see what she thinks about that and then maybe if she responds well then we'll invite her over oh honey looks like little one is um deciding to be a little bit naughty over here oh Lovely, again. <laughs> oh my goodness, this child. Right, we're gonna go ahead and uh, maybe call over Layla then. And then after that, go and change her diaper. Or give her a bath. That might be the better idea. She looks a little bit dirty. There we go, Layla's coming over. Okay, hello honey. Right, that's brilliant. Well, uh, since you're here, then right after we give this little monster a bath, I think we're gonna go ahead and uh, just head on out. Why do I say go ahead? so much I do not understand it's just a habit of mine I guess that I really need to get out of let's go ahead and do this let's go ahead and do that she's just come to sort of say goodbye I guess she's like okay well I'll come back soon like what do you want me to do like when should I feed the dog blah blah blah, blah, blah. oh look she's taking her for a walk isn't that cute yeah I think she's gonna be great there's not many places you can really go with a toddler except for the park right but it's pretty cloudy today so I don't think that would work but she she did hear that there is a pretty cute gallery over here. Oh, apparently not. Um, there used to be a gallery over here. But you know what? I don't think Edith knows that there is no longer a gallery there. So she's gonna go there anyway. I think what happened was uh, maybe like the map that she was looking at online was really outdated and there's just not a gallery there anymore. So it looks like this is most definitely not an art gallery and I think Edith is just now realizing that. She's like, Whoa, wait a second. What is this exactly? It looks pretty modern. So yeah, it does look like it hasn't been here long. Maybe it was built just recently. But if we go down to the bottom floor here, it looks like this is actually a dance studio, which uh, Edith was not expecting, but it's interesting because she was quite into dance when she was a little bit younger. She did do a lot of ballet, but this seems to be, you know, a whole different style, I guess. You could, well, I guess you could practice ballet here, but it's not a ballet studio, that's for sure. It's more of a sort of contemporary, maybe um, hip hop kind of thing, break dancing maybe even. So it all seems very contemporary and modern. And over here, this looks like some kind of room where you could perform maybe. So that looks quite interesting. It seems like they've very much modernized this place and they've kind of revamped it. They've been like, right, what is San Maishuno missing? It's missing dance and <gasps> Oh my goodness, they even have a kid's corner? These people are geniuses, like who runs this? This is incredible. <gasps> Addy can come and play here. Right, this is fabulous. I think they are actually going to stay here. They do have a gym as well. It is quite a small gym, but you know, still. And here's the changing room, I would assume, which looks great. And even a full on bathroom with like a bath. That looks amazing. Oh, uh, this is great. I love this so far. And over here, is this the last floor? It is, and it's a cafe. 
that's cool that they have like a cafe in here. It's like a proper gym. And it appears that this is free. Uh, so I guess they do have to profit somehow. So this is quite clever. It's a really clever business technique, I think. And then this appears to be an area for staff, I guess. So here's one of them. She looks pretty staffy, doesn't she? Uh, yeah, okay, that's cool. I guess we're gonna have Edith come into here and uh, explore this a little bit. Maybe uh, come here with Addy and uh, look around because it's intriguing her. So we're gonna have her come over here and uh, check out this little kids area. She's like, oh my goodness, this looks perfect. Oh, let's see her reaction. Let's see it. Let's see it. What does she think? She's just staring at the wall. Okay, she's like, uh, this is neat. Like, look at her looking around. She's like, yep, yep, this is something I could get behind. So I think maybe what we're gonna have Addy go and do is uh, play in the ball pit and uh, play on the side a little bit. You know, do all those typical toddlery things. And it looks like Edith is going and uh, checking out the cafe, I would assume. Oh, she's ordering a drink, so that's nice. Oh, look at her. Oh, she doesn't like it? You don't like it? Or do you? I'm not sure. That looks like you didn't like it, but you look like you're enjoying yourself, honey. Okay, so it looks like this is actually a pretty cool place where we could just go anytime. Like, a soft play and a dance studio? Like, this is intriguing Edith quite a bit. What are you ordering, honey? Is it a coffee? I could get behind that. Honestly, it is a coffee. Girl, I understand you. You know how many cups of coffee I got through during exam season? Oh, girl, let's not even talk about that, honestly. I feel ya, I get your needs, girl. You drink that coffee, give yourself that energy boost. And then you can come down and maybe check out this studio. Looks like they have uh, a speaker where she can plug in her phone. So that's pretty cool. So I guess we're gonna teach Adelaide to dance. Oh my goodness. I don't think she could do that quite yet. But I think we're gonna maybe change the station to some uh, spooky summer strut. S-pop. Oh my goodness. Yes. Yes. I love that. Oh, hello. How you doing, boo? Looks like you're, you're dancing a little bit. Well, we're gonna go over here and join you. Yeah. Right, actually, I've forgotten. Before she does that, she needs to change in the changing room. So we're gonna have her change into something a little bit more appropriate. Maybe this. That looks quite dance appropriate. And then just dance her heart out. Why not? It's just a bit of fun, right? Or at least that's what she thinks. Could turn into something more. Oh, look at him getting it on. Yes, boy. Go. Go. Okay, he's coming upstairs though. So maybe, maybe he's seen her or not. Okay then, that's that's okay. That's fine. Um, are you gonna go talk to him? She's like, she took a she took a double take. She was like, wait a minute, who is this hottie? Uh, can I talk to him, please? <laughs> She's gonna follow him like a little weirdo, but that's okay. It's it's okay, Edith. We get you. We've all had crushes. You go, girl. You absolutely go and talk to him. Oh, he looks a little bit. He's like, uh, uh don't really wanna talk to you, girl, but. You seem nice, kind of. She's like, hey, maybe you should come and sit down. And he's just not interested. Oh, <gasps> he is interested. Never mind. Uh, hello, daddy. And he's a bookworm. Oh no, Adelaide's hungry. Oh no, oh no, okay, okay, that's okay. Right, grab baby, grab baby and give her food. We don't want to have her taken away. No, 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 that's not good. That's not great. Oh, look at this bite. You know what? Let's, let's do it. Go bite her. Wow. She's like, I want food now. <laughs> and wrestle her. She's got a lot of energy. I don't know if wrestle is a good or a bad interaction. Looks like the dude is either really not interested or he's hitting up another woman and is a bit of a player. I guess we'll find out. Give food to Adelaide. Yes. You want to eat the animal crackers, honey? Kiddos like animal crackers, right? The, the bartender, the barista, she's just like, um, who is this kid? Why is she throwing a tantrum on my floor? Can you please just take her away? <laughs> Ooh, the romance festival is in town. Oh, well, you know what? Uh, she doesn't really have anyone to go with, but do you think we should bring Addy? Do you think we should be like, this is the love of my life. I'm coming with her. That would be really adorable, right? So 
maybe once Addie has a little bit, you know, she she plays a little bit in the ball pit and Edith finally comes over here and dances a little bit since no one is here to watch her, then we'll go to the romance festival just as a nice little treat to end off summer. She's jamming a little bit. She's kind of getting it on. I think if we uh, make this a little bit uh, louder, then we can actually hear it while she's dancing to it. Oh, look at her. Look at her getting it on. Wow. She's kind of like... She's dancing like nobody's watching, and I guess nobody is. Oh, maybe those two people, <laughs> but let's just pretend they're not there. But it looks like she's kind of really in her element. This is interesting. Like, I haven't seen her like this for a while. You know, Edith is quite a shy person, and um, we're not gonna lie, we know this. She's a little bit socially awkward, but it looks like whilst dancing, she's kind of in her element. But all good things must come to an end, alas, and we must uh, <laughs> give a talking to to this little monster again. And then we're gonna go ahead and uh, quickly head out to the romance festival as well because this is just a day for Addie to entertain her, to make her feel good. And Edith's like, you know what, I used to go to these festivals and things when I was a kid, but in Windenburg. So I really want to take her to do these things in San Maishuno as well. My neighbor says one kiss at the romance festival is worth 10 anywhere else. Something about the vibe, she says. Shall we find out if she's right? Girl, are you drunk? <laughs> we are not a thing. Is this a love confession? Oh my goodness. Is Annalise like intoxicated and suddenly like revealing that she's attracted to Edith or something? But you know what? I feel like Edith doesn't get it. Like she's like, oh yeah, haha, you're so funny. Like, but she doesn't really understand what she's saying exactly. So we're gonna take Addy and we shall see how this goes. It could be interesting, especially since she has a boyfriend. Oh no, that's bad. <laughs> Drama! Okay guys, so we are here at the romance festival and I've temporarily added Annalise to our family, I guess, uh, so that we can just sort of, you know, get the full experience with the romance festival. So I think what we're gonna go ahead and do is pour some security with the girls because this is what everyone likes to do during the romance festival, right? It's all romantic. I think maybe baby's a little bit too young, but can she sit down at least? No? Okay, then we're gonna have her go here as well. They're having a great time. Oh, she's flirty now. Let's pour some more security. Who doesn't like that sweet security? Am I right? Am I right? I feel like something more goes into this security than we know. Yes, and I feel like Annalise, she's feeling a little bit flirty. I feel like she already had something to drink before coming here, so she's going to go ahead and joke about getting together. She's like, ah, imagine if we got together at the romance festival. Wouldn't that be something? And little one is going to maybe come over here and uh, have a look at some of the paintings. Yeah, I feel like she doesn't really have much to do. This is very much a more adult festival, but you know, we want the festival vibe, definitely. She's like, oh my goodness, that would be pretty funny, wouldn't it? Yeah, but I don't think she's, I think she's still pretty oblivious to what's going on. And Edith, she's just drinking more and more of this security. She's like, this stuff is good. And I don't think she fully realizes exactly Exactly what's going on so I think Annalise as well she's going to describe her flirty dream that she had with Edith she's just going all in Annalise she is a confident sim let's see her traits actually so I think that'd be quite interesting so she's very outgoing and cheerful and I feel like she would just really go for it. She'd be like, oh yeah, absolutely. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and sexy pose for you as a joke, obviously. And joke about the old times. Like, oh my gosh, remember that time when we were playing truth or dare at that girl's party and I like got dared to kiss you. Like, imagine if I did that now. Wouldn't that be so funny? This girl, she is not holding back. She has no no restraints whatsoever. I've just realized this tea is so cute. Look at it. 
Oh, it has, it's the flower tea, the blooming flower tea stuff. That's so adorable. I got this for my mom for Christmas. That's really cute. Edith is just so like, I don't know, intoxicated, I guess, that she's just, she's not even realizing like what's going on with Addy or anything like she's just she's just there she's just in the moment I think she's even forgotten about her honestly which is not great and I feel like she's going to really regret this in the morning declare heat of the moment passion <gasps> yes declare your passion for her oh wow she seems to be really enjoying this I still don't think that she realizes that this isn't a joke she's just like oh yeah oh oh I feel passion for you too to Annalise, but she's just kind of, she doesn't really understand it. And there we go. There is the option for first kiss. She is going to just go in for it. She's like, come here. I want to show you something. Oh, look at Edith. She's like, oh my, I really enjoyed that. <laughs> this girl, you guys. She doesn't even know what's happening. She's just following her heart and not thinking about anything. Oh my god, that's so bad. She had so many securities. <gasps> well, you know what? I feel like Annalise has kind of accomplished what she wanted. Although I get, mm, I don't know, girl. I feel like I feel like she's also a little bit she she wants more from this uh definitely I don't think she's here for like a proper relationship oh <gasps> she did the mistletoe kiss anyway <gasps> and is she oh my goodness <gasps> these girls oh no they're just like going crazy right now oh no she's gonna throw petals at her She's just gonna like do everything. I don't know if I'm here for this, you guys. Uh, can we just like, can we just calm down a little bit? Honestly, if there was a place to woohoo here right now, I don't, I don't know what would happen. Edith's kind of just feeling a little bit uncomfortable. Um, but we're going to go ahead and buy some swag. The novelty of all of this is kind of wearing off of like the tea and everything. She's realizing, oh wait, am I? Why am I here? Like, I know it was something to do with, like, my family. I don't think she's realizing quite yet. She's kind of left Addy, but it's okay. <laughs> I think we're gonna buy two uh, festival sparklers. I don't know if toddlers can actually light sparklers, but we can buy them anyway. And then she's gonna be like, oh my goodness, my child. So, well, not my child, you know, like, she's, she's her sister. She's like, my little sister. Is she still here? Like, what, have I just left her? Like, oh my goodness, and she's picking her up, and I think she's just gonna, she's just gonna go home, I think. Honestly. Did she buy the t-shirt? She did. Look at Annalise. Look at that. She's so like, <laughs> I did what I came here to do. Uh, I'm actually quite concerned, because of both of them, Annalise was the more sober one, and Edith is just gonna wake up, and I don't even know if she's gonna remember any of this like honestly she looks so uncomfortable i feel like she's feeling it already she's like oh this was not a great idea what was in that tea but you know what guys i think this is where i'm gonna end this episode of the sims 4 seasons definitely more dramatic oh we're having petals thrown at us that's nice uh, so if you enjoyed this episode then please go down to the comments below and let me know what you enjoyed about it and let me know if you enjoyed that little twist at the end there and I guess I will see you all in the next video. Bye foxes!